All right, this is on page 360, and it's figure 7.4. And what we're going to do is convert this decimal number over to binary. And what you do is you start off with 343, you divide it by 2, and you get this number, and you have a remainder of 1. And then you take this quotient and divide it by 2, you get another quotient, and you have a remainder of 1. And you keep doing that, and you can see in this case right here, you have a remainder of 0 and so forth all the way down and you keep repeating this process until you end up with a zero in the quotient column. At that point you stop, you start from the bottom and you write one zero one zero one zero one 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 and that right there is your binary number. Now if you have a decimal number um, you know for example something like uh, 0.392 and you want to convert that over to binary what you do instead of dividing by 2 is you multiply by 2. So you take this, multiply by 2, and you get 0 0.784. And then over here, you keep doing this, and now you get 1.568. And uh, then what you do is you take the, the, uh, the 0.568 here, multiply it by 2, and you get 1.136. You take the 136 multiply it by 2, and so forth. And you can continue to repeat that process. And um, and you can do that until basically you get, uh, I believe it's a 1 right here and a 0 there, unless it's going to repeat uh, forever. In that case, you want to stop maybe, say, after uh, 6, as they did in this case. So you start from top to bottom in this row, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, like that. Now let me look at another example from our homework. This is problem 7.7b right here. And we're going to convert a uh, decimal number over to binary. If you look at the problem statement, it has a very simple uh, decimal number right here, 8.5. So you break it up into, into two parts. First of all, you take the 8 and divide it by 2, and you get 4 divided by. Uh, and then take the 4, divide it by 2. And you get 2 with a, remainder, with a remainder of 0. So this is the quotient column. This is a remainder column. And you keep doing that until this is 0. Then again, remember that you start here. 1, 0, 0, 0. And that's the first part of it. Looks like I made a mistake when I did that. And that is the number 8 right there. And then to get this half on the end, you break that up into a separate problem. You have 0.5 times 2 and you get 1 plus 0, so this was kind of a trivial problem here compared to the other one, and you get the uh, point 0.1, which is the half. Now another more um, advanced problem is, uh, well, I guess a longer problem, really, I don't know if it's advanced. 735.75, you break it up into two problems. Again, you do uh, 735 divided by 2, and you get this. And another way to look at this is that, if, you know, if you're typing into this if you're typing this into your calculator, what you're going to see is 367.5. So if you're trying to figure out how to, you know, deal with the quotient and remainder from your calculator, if it says 367.5, you can simply say plus this divided by 2, if that helps. In that case, you want to, you know, erase the columns that's, that say quotient and remainder because we're having a different meaning here. So that you can see that if you do 367, divided by 2, it's 183 plus a half. And so you keep doing that all the way down here. So we're always, we're always taking this uh, integer part of it and dividing it by 2 in each case. At the end of this process, you're just going to take this column right here, and you're going to write that number starting from the bottom. Remember, you want to stop when you get to this uh, so uh, you want to stop when this number right here is 0. So you want to start right here, and uh, you want to write 1011, and then 0, and then 5 ones after that. All right. And then to deal with the uh, fractional part of that, the 0.75, you multiply it by 2, and you get 1 point, uh, uh, 5 here, and you take the uh, point 0.5 only over here, multiply it by 2, and you get 1.0, and that's the time that you stop uh, when, this, when this one becomes 0, 
and then you basically got the one and the one so the answer comes over uh, to be uh, one zero one one zero one 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 dot 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 one one <laughs> I think you got it there all right hope that helps